Hello, this is Tom from Vino 100 with your video wine tip of the week. Today I want to talk about wines that go great with pizza and pasta. When you think about pairing a wine with pizza or pasta, you really have to think about the acidity level in the wine because tomato-based sauces have a nice level of acidity to them. If you have a wine without the proper level of acidity, it will be overshadowed by your meal. So you want to have something that will stand up to the acidity level in the tomatoes. So the first off I wanted to speak to you about is a wine that generally comes to mind when someone says I'd like a pizza or pasta wine and that's Chianti. Chianti is made from Sangiovese grapes. Chianti is a region within Tuscany and then the, the grape varietal Sangiovese and they call it a Chianti. They name it after the region. But this one is from an estate called Coltivuono. Sangiovese generally has a nice soft underlying flavor of cherry and that this one has that. It's got a nice brightness on the finish from the acidity, a nice soft uh, cherry flavor and it really pairs well with pizza or pasta. This one's inexpensive, it's $12 a bottle and it's a great pairing for those types of meals. Next off I wanted to speak to you about is a wine that you'd probably want to use in pairing with a pasta or a pizza dish that has meat toppings or uh, meat within the sauce. And this one is a Montepulciano di Abruzzo. It's from Abruzzo, Italy. They named the grape Montepulciano. It's a different grape varietal than Sangiovese, but it has a similar characteristic. It has, oftentimes, it has a nice soft cherry flavor. This one has like a real depth of flavor. It's a bigger wine, and it would stand up really nice to the toppings of the meat or the meat within the sauce. It has a rich finish. It's got nice depth of flavor, has a little hint of mocha, and a little bit of creaminess on the finish. This one's $16. It's been one of the best selling wines in my store for the last five years from an estate called uh, Torre Zambra, and the wine's called Colomaggio. Again, $16 a bottle. It's definitely worth a try. And lastly, I wanted to speak about a wine that comes to my mind with, uh, when you're talking about pizza and pasta. It's a South African Pinotage. This one's from an estate called Cisanani. Pinotage is a hybrid grape that's create, that was created back in the 1920s in South Africa by crossing the Pinot Noir grape and a grape called Cinceau, another French grape. This one starts out like a Pinot Noir, it's got a nice level of acidity, and it kind of transitions into a smoky finish. And it really pairs well with spicy meats, especially a pepperoni or maybe a sausage within your bolognese sauce. Pinotage is a classic barbecue uh, wine. It would go really great with anything with a little bit of spice to it. So anyway, this is $9 a bottle. It's a fantastic wine. Next time you're having a pizza or a pasta, why don't you get Pinotage to try. Uh, it's a wonderful wine and you get a lot of bang for your buck. In any event, again, this is Tom from Vino 100. This, that's your video wine tip of the week and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for tuning in.